the future, the human race will start a war with the bugs for the domination of the galaxy. Humans have learned a lesson from their last defeat. They plan to send fighter jets to cover the swarm's dense areas with firepower before the bugs could retreat to their caves. The nuclear bomb exploded in the middle of the swarm. After the bombing, motorized infantry regiments were ordered to clear the battlefield. In just a few minutes, the battlefield is blackened. The soldiers then split up into teams to scout the area, in case there are any bugs left to cause trouble. As expected, there are still some lucky bugs surviving. John and his team quickly started suppressing fire. Under the combined fire of three men, the bug soldier finally fell to the sand. One of the soldiers is still not satisfied. He's trying to take revenge for the death of his last comrade. And that's when he gets into trouble. A number of bugs have taken refuge in a distant cave. This can't be solved by machine guns. Luckily, John's team is equipped with a small nuclear cannon. By the time the bombing was over, John received a distress call from another team. It turns out that the team on the other side is in the same situation. John is quick to bring in reinforcements. They surrounded the bugs and fired on them. But one thing leads to another. John had even solved the problem in front of him. A giant beetle came out of the dirt behind him. The beetle's tentacle legs exerted force. It mounted the female lieutenant's arm in a flash. The rest of the soldiers fled in fear. John was the only one who didn't flinch. He went down the slope to the top of the giant beetle. Then he took a deep breath, he jumped onto the beetle's back. Then he concentrated and shot a big hole in the beetle's back. John did not let the commander down. In the nick of time, he took out his explosive grenade, pulled out the fuse and threw it through the hole. So John took over the position of the female lieutenant. The team was happy for John's promotion. At night, the commanding officers took out all kinds of entertainment equipment in order to relieve the mood of the team. He ordered everyone to have fun and drink well. At this time, John and Carrie also fell in love. But then the commander burst in and demanded to be at the post in 10 minutes.